Twitch, where you, the viewers, are in control. Featuring special guests from all over the Twitch community and the Los Angeles comedy scene. Enter a variety of wild scenarios with colorful characters and help steer the story in whatever direction you want. You can vote in polls to make choices, submit images over Twitter and Discord. You can pay to play sound effects. Road end in 100 feet. What the f***? It's your show too, friend. Hop on in and experience everything now. Hey everybody, it's me, Dr. Ash. Thanks for coming. Uh, it's therapy tonight. For those of you who have never seen this before, uh, I am a therapist. I'm not one of these fancy hoity-toity licensed therapists. I learned my therapy on the streets, Wikipedia, YouTube, audible.com. That's where I got my therapy. Uh, and so I'm pretty good at what I do. I help find if people are normal, I will make them normal or if we can't do that, I will give them a set of coping mechanisms that will lead them through the rest of their life with what we have to work with. Um, there's plenty of ways you can help me, though. If you sub, uh, you can tell me a little problem you're having, and I'll give you a quick consultation about it. Um, and if we hit 15 subs, we will do retail therapy with one of my patients, wherein we will go shopping, and they will buy me a new outfit so that I can demonstrate to them how good it feels <laughs> to go shopping sometimes. Um, you can also prescribe a treatment for one of my patients for $5. Um, if it's something we can do in the room, we'll give it a go. If it's just like, do drugs, you know, I'll send them home with some drugs and stuff. Uh, you can also ask them to tell us a little bit more about their mother or expand on how they feel. Um, I might get an emergency call at some point so I'll take the emergency call. Uh, hopefully it is an emergency. I would say we have a 0% emergency rate currently of people who call me. They're often calling me to just talk about something, but maybe it will be an emergency. Um, and of course we can look at Rorschach tests and those Rorschach tests have been submitted by you, the viewers in the Discord. So if you have- And on Twitter. And on Twitter. <laughs> so if you haven't joined the Discord or followed us on Twitter, yeah, look, look at that. It's like a Michael Sarah ghost, kinda. That's one interpretation. So if you haven't joined our Discord yet, and if you haven't followed us on Twitter yet, go ahead and do that now. Submit some images, subscribe to the YouTube while you're at it. And um, I think that pretty much covers anything. Midway through, we will be doing, for the regulars, the people who can't afford my services, we will be doing uh, Best Help, where we will go to some shitty phone app and a bunch of therapists will come in and out and kind of give you at home some rapid fire therapy and help um so with that all being said hi theo hi scott slurp go go gadget creative steve surreal chemist internet crow serenity underground the rest hello everyone welcome um let's get into it let's do it um I think we'll get our first patient, unless I forgot anything, but I think that covers it. Yeah, come on in. <sighs> How's it going? <laughs> oh, wobble de go no bo bo wow. What's going on? Weesh now! Weesh now! Wee! What's your name? Sorry. What's your name? Jim Sim. Jim Sim. Oh. <laughs> hey! Oh, we got a wah. Uh... I don't understand. I don't understand. I don't understand the words. Where are you going? Hey, Jim. 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 Come on. Oh. Come back here. Do you, are you speaking a different language that I don't understand? We will double wa. Okay. Did you consider that you have to communicate with me in order for this to work? Was there any point where you thought, I will have to speak to this person? 
What would do would wa? We zakwa? When we da would do. Bibu dao. Can someone potentially serve as a translator for me in the chat? Because I don't know what the fuck this person's saying. Wabu we wow. Okay, great. Oh. Huh? Great. Um the legs on this bad boy is our first. That can't be. He wants benzos. Is that it, Jim? You just want drugs? Dabu ni gao, yeah. Okay. I can just get you drugs. Benzos. Okay. Uh... Well, we will see. Now, kind of new wow dao. Whip wow. What are simoleons? Simoleons? <laughs> why, why does that make you cry? Why did that make you cry? Simoleons? You don't have any? <laughs> He's poor and he wants drugs. That's what I'm figuring out about Jim Sim. This is going to be one of my harder patients. <laughs> Queek wow. Um, where is he going? Are you peeing? Are you peeing? <laughs> Jim. Whew. I feel like he's, like, I feel like regardless of what I do or say, he's just going to go. Tipu to Klinkow. Okay. Incredibly, we're going to role play with a doll, which I can't imagine. I can't imagine what that'll bring forward, but I actually did forget to mention this off the top. If you want, uh, I can have my patient do like a little role play exercise with the doll. I will get this out of the way. The doll does have a penis for some reason, but we don't need to, that doesn't need to be involved and I would prefer it's not involved. Um, but that is, I don't know where I got this, but it does, it does have a penis and butt. So just, we don't need to worry about that. But it is there. All right. Jim, who am I role playing as with you? Weeble Dao Sequi. And I know what that is, so that's perfect. And can someone translate what am I supposed to be and what am I supposed to be doing here? Hey, we will go now. <laughs> God, I wish I could understand. Somehow I understood him that time. His stepdad, the Pope. <laughs> I think you're his neighbor, Mia Goth. Another, we're killing me on the references tonight. We're just, and a lot of you are hungry. Are you just hungry? You don't go to therapy if you're hungry, Jim. You just go to the store. Nanuki <laughs> simoleons. Oh, you're too poor to eat. Okay. Let's, uh, in that case, oh, the landlord. Because I'm imagining you're, you're tight on money all the time. Dabo. So maybe you have a conversation with your landlord about, uh, you know, something more financially viable for you or some kind of payment plan or something. <sighs> Nino Pop. Wow, I don't know what that means. Okay. Pino Qui. Me Bobble Do. Okay. Let's let's start. People are really making it so much more difficult for me in the chat with Motherload. Does that mean anything to you? Bobble Wow Simoleons. Okay. I feel insane right now. Let's do it. Bobble? Don't look at me, please. Wow. Okay. No, hey, pull the pants up. Pull the pants up. You would not do this to your landlord. <laughs> oh, that's you? You you went your own direction with the role play? Okay. Let's do that. Fuck everything I said. Let's do that. You are that doll. What will you do to make yourself feel better? What's something that would make you feel better? And please do not involve the penis in that, if possible. Hmm. Gweebie Deeble Gow. Hmm. Wobble Deegee Gee? Please don't look at me. Sandwich? <laughs> Sandwich. Okay, I caught that one. I understood that word. Sandwich. Mmm. Design custom. Kick Lorbo. Mmm. <laughs> Double Ninkinku. So, yeah, okay, you can go to the store and you can get bread, cold cuts, and cheese, or peanut butter and jelly for really cheap. Really small amount of money. 
If you just want a sandwich. He's <laughs> crying again. Klebu Dao, no allowed in store. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You're getting increasingly easier to understand. Why aren't you allowed in a store? Kwe boo boo? Kwe tibusi? Nothing. You're giving me nothing there. Uh, you, me only? I tell? What? Okay, this is a secret between you and I. Kwabu day, maldibu dao. Oh, we double cow coo coo. Can you get another job? Can you get more income? Shabu! I think people often give advice if it's like you need to be more frugal, but that's not helpful advice. You can't, you need to spend money to live in the world. At the end of the day, you kind of just need to get more income. Corno day, quabble day, narfle tip. Narfle tip. Someone wrote that. Okay, everyone's now saying that. That means nothing to me. You're asking for a part time job. Sell feet. Okay, yeah, what about selling pictures of your feet on the internet? Hmm. You could do that. Quo? That's sandwich money for sure. Uh, Bebow, Shap, not in store. Okay. <laughs> what uh, did you how, say there? I um, got so close. Me? me Dabu? No. Uh, legally? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No Quavo. You legally can't go to the store. In store. Are you trapped inside a specific amount of places? But you're hungry because the places you're trapped inside of don't have food. See now. In Quebledu. In your little area, the doors don't open. You can't get out. You're trapped inside a small area and you need to pee on the wall and stuff because you can't go to the bathroom or the store. The oven's empty. Oh my God, I'm figuring it out. It was in front of my face the whole time. Okay, Jonah has an idea. Jonah, what's your idea? And please don't say it in the way he's talking. Are you p pissing on my Ooh. bookcase again? Can you stop that? Oh, the wing -wah. Somebody deleted the ladder in the pool. Okay. Shpow! Shpow! He's a sim built in a room with no exits. He has to be. He's hungry. That's. A, I literally just did that exact breakdown. I just did that exact thing. Jonah Spaz, Weeble Diggy. Thank you, Internet Crow, for gifting Dukes of Soup. Cabernet Sao Cow? Guys, I figured all that out. You're one step behind me here. We need to get a solution. Kay. We need this guy to figure out how to eat. What, what? You want something in the ovens at, at your... Quabble down. You want to get out of the place you're in? Quabble down, so why so many? <laughs> Chi, poo, cow, see, la, pee, pa, pa. Why so many books? <laughs> um, that that to me is an oven door. Yes, there's so many ovens, but there's nothing in them. Okay. Somebody built him a room with no doors and a bunch of ovens, so eventually he'd kill himself after pissing all over the room. Ah. It's a vengeful god or a board. Thank you to my later. thank you to my secretary. Um, here's a question for you, Jim. How the hell did you get here? Kwong is a wing quaba. So, and we boo dao, then I quee ku ti. But shubu di, the labada gao. Bla kapu shibu now, and la baba gao. Spoop? No. Spoop? Meant, nope, that meant nothing to me. Um, but, however you got here, I'm not inside your little oven room, the room full of ovens with no doors. 
So before you go back there, go get a sandwich. Get things you can cook in an oven, long term. You can't, you don't have any money. We've got a prescription. Okay. Cheat code for infinite sandwich. <gasps> okay. Can anyone give me a cheat code for infinite sandwich? Quanal Dao, Quanal Dao. Um, that's smart. That way whoever trapped you into that hellscape will um, suffer for their, their rudeness. Simoleons don't grow on trees, Doc. I don't fucking know where they come from. I don't know that. Um... What's the cheat code for money IRL? That's a great question. I think he fell asleep. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B, A, select, start. Hey, did you get that? Huh? Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B, A, select, start. Bebo? Come on. Bobble D. To do that. No, hey, hey, no, no. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B, A, start. Yeah, but why are you taking your pants off? Is Bobble D what we got? No, no, okay, I had the wrong cheat code. I had the wrong cheat code. That's not right. Try Rosebud. Rosebud? Does that do anything for you? <gasps> Quano Nay! Up? Simoleons! Oh! Great, well I need 300 of them, if they're dollars. That's how much it costs for this session. Quano Nano! Okay, thank you. Please pay my secretary on the way out. I just... That was extremely stressful for me. <laughs> That was really hard. I guess you've never been a middle schooler with no agency, Doctor. The Sims is where you take out all your shit. I played Dynasty Warriors. You haven't lived until you've Sylvia Plath the Sim. I played Dynasty Warriors. Doc, 3. are you Chinese? No, I just liked playing Dynasty Warriors 3. Eventually I got Dynasty Warriors 5, but I wasn't into it as much. It got too complex. I preferred Dynasty Warriors 3, where it was a lot easier. Okay. We're gonna get another person in here. Ideally, any cultural references they're pulling upon, I will be aware of. But if not, <coughs> we'll see. That's kind of my bad at the end of the day. Sort of my job to know what is happening in the world around me. Um, so let's go ahead and get our next patient in here. I guess we helped that guy. I'm gonna call that a win. <laughs> because he seemed happy when he left. So we're gonna call that a win. Jim Sim, I didn't give him his benzos. I forgot about that. <laughs> All right, and uh, my secretary can let in the next patient whenever. Hello. Oh, gun. <laughs> Always. What's your name? My name is um, Jessica Lawrence. Jessica Lawrence. Hi, Jessica. What what brings you into my office? Well, <clears throat> I have a problem so big, you're not going to be able to solve it. We'll see about that. I'm pretty good at what I do. What's going on with you? Okay, I'll uh, I'll start from the beginning. Yep. Okay. Okay, I'll start from the beginning. <sighs> Back in the day, there was just hot coffee, right? <laughs> okay, so we have hot coffee. Right. Everyone's on the same page. Yeah, hot drip coffee. And then Starbucks comes along and they invent the Frappuccino. Right. Which and is so just kind of like sugary, icy drink. No, no. Really? It's the next way to have coffee. Okay. I guess I have just realized I don't know what a Frappuccino is. Frappuccino is coffee blended with ice and sweetener and a little bit of milk. It's coffee, but it's the new way to have coffee. And Starbucks invented it, okay. and we all did that instead of black coffee, right? Okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm with you. And kind of exactly what I said, just for the record, but I'll let it go. And little boys and girls all around the globe saw that, they saw Starbucks do that, and they said, oh, we changed what happens to coffee. That's what happens. And what did they invent? They invented cold brew. Mm -hmm. 
Doctor, she's looking at you. Oh yeah, sorry. You're not supposed to look at me for this session to work. I don't. I, I can't get into it. It's a Freudian thing. So we started with hot coffee. Yeah. And then there was Starbucks brought us the next way to have coffee, which was frappuccino. Little boys and girls noticed that, and then they invented cold brew. And then everyone said, "Okay, this is how we have coffee now." Mm -hmm. And I don't know if you've noticed, but some coffee shops said, "Okay." Let's put some cold foam on top of the cold brew. Right. And then there's also this nitro thing. You see? Yeah. This? Yeah. Okay. And then everyone kind of realized every couple of years we have to change how we all drink coffee, and mm -hmm. we all know this. Yeah. And so then Starbucks was like, "Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put olive oil in the coffee." Wow! I actually did not hear about that. Is that real? It's Oleato. real. It's called Oleato, and it's disgusting. premiering just in New York and LA. To test it out, that and disgusting. I had some of it, and I liked it the first time. But the second time, it tasted like salad dressing. That was <laughs> what I feel like it would taste like. And everything that's happened with coffee has gone perfectly smooth, no problems there, no bumps in the road until this oleato thing. Have and you ever had a coffee cola? Half, no, half no. coffee, half Coca Cola. It's pretty good. Okay. Okay, that makes me feel a little bit better. But okay. overall, I still think I still think you can't solve this problem. And what is the problem exactly? The problem is, cold brew is at the end of its lifespan, and we need a new way to drink coffee. And Starbucks said we're going to do olive oil, and nobody likes that. And so the whole coffee timeline is interrupted. We don't have a new way to drink coffee. We have to stop drinking cold brew soon. And I've been. I've been feeling, I've been, I've been watching this and I've been feeling this. It's up to me to come up with a new way to, to serve coffee. Okay, so I'm torn here because on one angle, I'd like you to feel that you have less responsibility over the world's problems and that you should focus more individually on your own life and your own trajectory. This, because is, this it, is my life. What do you do for work? I'm a cowboy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and so because Cowboys have coffee and they need it. There is no cowboy without coffee. And my dad was a cowboy and my mom was a cowgirl and my nephew's a cowpoke and my uncle is a ranch hand. Do you feel that there are maybe other things that are making it harder to be a cowboy these days than the evolution of coffee? No, it's completely easy. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, uh, fine. I'll say, let's put this on. And another issue I want to point out, I just heard on NPR a couple days ago that like 70% of the ground that we grow coffee on is about to become infertile in the next like 10 years and there's going to be a huge coffee That's shortage. not good. Yeah, that's very bad and real. But in the meantime, let's think about I have one idea, but it's not good. Let's hear it. Basically, we get a cup of cold brew and we freeze some ice cubes and the ice cubes are like milk and vanilla. And then you put the ice cubes in the coffee and as it melts, it makes like an ice vanilla latte. That actually sounds delicious, but is that fundamentally different than a cold brew? I don't think it's different enough. Yeah. To me, that is a still a cold brew drink, but you've adapted the ice cubes, which is cool. Doctor, doctor, Uh huh. think about the jump from hot coffee to frappuccino. We need something that severe? Yes. My idea is like this. It's a lateral move. Yeah, I agree. What and about... no one is helping me. You know what? These are the these are the sessions I like. These are the ones where I feel like I get to, to flex my muscles here. <laughs> What about something, coffee has only been a drink so far. Okay. What if coffee was a food? Oh my God. What if we did something, and chat, feel free to offer up some, oh my some God. stuff here. What if we somehow made coffee, you know how there's those things now where, I, I had this when I was visiting my mom a couple years ago where it was like an olive, <laughs> but it was like, it wasn't actually an olive. It was, it was like this weird, like gelatin like orb. Like a bean, like a bean? Yeah, it was like a weird gelatin orb and inside was the flavor of eating an olive. Do you know what I'm talking about? A gelatin orb and inside the orb is the flavor of the olive. Yeah, so what if, we, oh, an interesting point is coffee is a food to start and we, we turn it into a drink. So I guess we're actually going backwards. Maybe you go backwards to go forwards. Ah, okay, see, I like this. What if we go backwards to go forward? So just ground coffee, just eating, just eating ground coffee, I guess, is the current idea. 
That's not good enough. No, we have tiramisu. We have coffee cake. Um, what if we snorted our coffee? I don't think that's the idea. That's not good enough. Yeah. Yeah, chocolate covered coffee beans. Okay. Think about the jump from frappuccino to cold brew. That's pretty big, too. That's big. What and is cold put... brew exactly? They just brew it in cold water and it takes longer? Exactly right, Doctor. So what if we f make it in some different way? Turn it into gas? Make... Oh, like an oxygen bar, but it's room, coffee? Room temperature, <laughs> coffee, <laughs> so bad. food. No. Okay, okay. Room temperature, coffee, food inside of an orb and the, co and the co coffee flavor is in the orb. And then you use... You just bite down on the orb. What's the idea? Bite it and chew it. Bite it and chew it. Like a gusher. Like a oh, like a coffee gusher. Wow. And a, a, what's the size of this thing? I'm thinking like like not a gusher size. I'm thinking it's like a little more full. And maybe the idea is you take like three uh, have bonbon you, have size you heard of, almost. Have you heard of everything's bigger in Texas? Uh huh. Are you from Texas? I've been there. Okay. <laughs> Where is your uh, ranch, your settlement? Montana. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. Really beautiful. It's got to be tough because it's like a pretty developed place now. There's like cities and towns and... Yeah, but there's places to hide. Okay. <laughs> are you running from someone? Or are you... Because cowboys are usually murderers. I just need the... I need the jump... I need the jump up on anything that might threaten me. Okay. You know? I hear you. That's good to just be, you know, cautious. And I got to protect... I have to protect my livestock. And I have to protect my crops. And do you know that if anything happens to a horse, you have to kill it right away? I know, it's really sad. <laughs> well, not anything, but I know that a lot of things. Mostly anything. You have mm. to kill it right away. Okay. <laughs> because otherwise it's suffering. And that's why many cowboys like me know a lot of horse breeders, because we're pumping these things out. That makes me sad to hear. You know, 20, 30 at a, a day. So this is something that's interesting for, yeah, yeah, I'm about to get to this. There's something a little suspect for me, because I know you're an old soul with, yeah. the, with the cowboy-isms, but one way to kind of advance into the future is virtual AI, NFT, so like, is that coffee NFT? Yeah, is coffee, I mean, I'm a little r reticent to, to engage in that. Okay. But I don't know what your what your style is, what your way to be is. Well, you know, cowboys are outsiders, and outsiders tend to shape the culture from the outside in. Just like guys who buy pictures of monkeys for sixty thousand dollars. Exactly right. Hmm. Coffee coin. Coffee coin. Oh, coffee NFT, but the T is T E A. But I don't want to trick anybody. This isn't about tricking people because feed the sick horse coffee and then eat it. Mm. That's an extremely long process. Yeah, but so is cold brew. That's cold true. brew takes about 12 hours, doctor. So you think there could be a store where you go in and a sick horse is being fed coffee behind you, and then you go, I'll have a slab of some horse that's being fed coffee. Well, we don't want to be killing these horses on purpose. They're dying enough on accident as right. it is. Right, so it's like an injured horse. So there's, what I'm seeing is there's sort of an assembly line operation going where Sick horses are being brought into this store. Mm -hmm. You're seeing them the maybe be just outside Santa Anita. Yeah, yeah. Maybe you're seeing them behind a glass thing, like being fed coffee a lot. And then you're like, I'll take some, you know, and there's like a little maybe the, the menu is a diagram of all the different parts of a horse. Mm -hmm. And you're like, I'll take some of the, you know, shoulder or whatever. Yeah, and if someone wants matcha, we can do it to a goat. Yeah, matcha is for a goat. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what are we trying to do again? We're inventing the new the new thing. There of needs coffee. to be a new way to there needs to be a new way to drink coffee. We are accepting the reality that coffee evolution is a ceaseless thing that we have no power to stop. And we as as cowboys, as as men of the frontier, as people of the frontier, are trying to get ahead of it. Exactly. How do you feel about Poop coffee. Yeah, is that a real yeah, thing? yeah. That's where you feed a cat the coffee bean, and the coffee bean passes through the that's digestive. That's a real thing. Yes, because these cats have a special digestive system that processes the coffee beautifully. I hate that. It's just hard to find because you need the cats. Yeah, 
And, and I, just Grass Dragon, I did engage with the hypothetical that maybe this is a neurotic tendency that this cowboy is going maybe. through. Hasn't, haven't all great inventions come from obsessed geniuses though? Are we gonna, are we gonna medicate the entire populace to the point where they're, we can't even function to create? Only if they want it. For me, only if they want it. But then, yeah. Then they can have as much as they want. How many cups of coffee do you have a day, doctor? I'm currently at about two. That's a good number. It's good. I have one in the morning, and then I have one as kind of a mid-afternoon pick-me-up. I've heard that, you know, Europeans and Italians say no coffee after three. That's, that's outrageous to me. That is a pretty high benchmark. I feel like if I have coffee or like caffeine thing pretty late in the evening I'll be up all night but I also don't feel energized well so here's what I don't understand about Europeans no coffee after 3 but dinner is at 11 p.m. and we go to bed at 1 and there's a siesta the next day I don't understand how the European day works yeah it's also it's no coffee after 3 but they're drinking all throughout the day okay so it's like that's got to fuck with your body too here's another thing I don't understand about Europeans none of them are cowboys None no, are no, they're living not. On the frontier, none of them are are uh, becoming one with the land or whatever. They're all just like climbing mountains and shit. Well, they're painting. They're painting. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they got some good stuff, but don't get me started, honestly. Um, okay, where where did we land on this? Are we doing the horse thing? I'm a little. <laughs> I'm I'm seeing a lot of logistic problems. I think I'm gonna try the the glass of room temperature cold brew and put ice cubes in it, and the ice cubes are made out of milk and vanilla. And then you start with a cold brew, and it slowly, slowly turns into a iced vanilla latte over time. I would say this, I would love that at a store, if they were like, do you want, it? you know, for an extra dollar, we'll give you our latte ice cubes, or Because your coffee transforms over time. Isn't yeah. that exciting? Because that is cool. every time before this, the coffee has stayed the same throughout the experience of drinking it. But and, and, and a changing coffee, well, my one issue with that is, is this not just cold brew coffee stuff? What if it was this? This is why I, I told you you can't solve this no, problem I because I knew this, this was a bad idea. Do not, I knew that my idea was a bad idea and I can't even think of one more. Listen, I'm not going to give up on you. You don't give up on me, okay? How We're come I can't think out. of one other idea besides I'm stuck on the ice cube, the melting ice cube Because it's a really good idea. It's just not far enough away, but that it's should be like, at every it's not coffee like shop. This. Yeah, we're not doing that yet. We're doing this hop and a skip, hop yeah. and a skip. And it's a good hop and a skip and it could make a lot of money. Uh, the coffee is the cup. Okay, but then what's in it? <laughs> and you're just giving someone a, a solid frozen, I guess, coffee or whatever. It's got to be something in it. Make the cup out of ice, coffee ketchup. We're getting a lot of crazy ideas. The cup out of ice is nice. That's, uh, that makes me think of a Russian ice hotel. Yes. That would be a great place to serve that. Yeah. But again, at the end of the day, you're still just putting already existing coffee into the cup. Uh, coffee pow coffee powdered power plants. Hey, have you heard of sous vide? What? Have you heard of sous vide? No, what's that? That's a that's a water bath. A coffee bath. We could do that. Okay. You go to a coffee shop and they're like, come lay down in this bath. Yes. And there's like a bunch of troughs that everyone's getting in and yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. You're on your laptop working on your screenplay while just soaking in a big tub of coffee. Right. But at the end of the day, that would still probably just be cold brew in that big tub, huh? Coffee hummus, I've seen that. Have, uh, have you, hey, have you seen this dessert hummus? It's like brownie hummus. Yeah, yeah, that's kind of gross to me. Yeah, I wonder what you dip in there. Is it still chickpeas? It's still chickpeas. Uh, chickpeas is very versatile, but it's like, it's better savory. Um, coffee hot tubs. We just did that, Creative Steve, but I like where your head's at. Uh, coffee beer, I've seen that. I've seen that. Um, coffee filled coffee beans, we've done that. <laughs> <laughs> That's interesting. Um, make the cup out of coffee ice, but then float the empty cup in a bowl or a bathtub of coffee. We're getting so in the weeds of it now. I feel like we're not seeing the forest through the trees. We need to make it taste different. Maybe a different texture. Yes. Let's think texture here. Coffee. I don't know what that word is. And Maybe I'm like a block. I'm saying a slur like when a I don't know what it is. Like a block that you can lick, like a salt lick for a horse. Coffee inhalers. 
a salt a coffee lick. Coffee. A coffee mask? Coffee vape. Like a te- like a in- inhale it? Yeah, yeah. That's a different texture. What about like, like a guy named Coffee and he comes and gives you like a massage yeah. or something? Well, I think it wouldn't be a massage. No, I think he'd have to shake you or something because he's trying to wake you up. Slaps you around a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Coffee bubble blower? What does that even mean? <laughs> How does what? that? Coffee in a bubble blower. So it's just you're blowing coffee bubbles everywhere? Yeah. Okay. See, see, this whole thing gives me a feeling of, of hopelessness. No, no, no. Because I feel like we're at the end of, we're at the end of coffee evolution and we're kind of like in no man's land. That This is, this is kind of my anxiety here. The gun gives me an idea. Coffee gun, coffee bullets. So coffee. you go to the store and someone shoots you in the mouth, but it's coffee. So you walk up to the register and you go, I'll take a double, like I'll have a double shot. Like at a tourist resort where they do it with the tequila. Yeah, yeah, but instead of like a double shot of espresso, it's like two espresso bullets and you get shot in the mouth by the barista. Okay. That could be something. I guess it's still just cold brew in the bullets though. What if it were like a soup, like a breaded soup bowl, but instead of a breaded bowl, it's like a donut, like a hollowed out donut and you put the coffee in there. Again, great idea, but fundamentally, it's still just coffee going inside the thing. Fuck! We need to get away from this, Fuck. what if coffee is in this vessel? Covfefe! No. That? So, Has anyone said that yet? Can my secretary's boyfriend please be quiet? Covfefe! This is a damn good cup of coffee. Where's that from? That's, that's from, from Twin Peaks. Peaks. That's yeah. from Twin Peaks. A yeah. water gun filled with coffee, cl- coffee slurp juice. Coffee, shoots coffee darts. The barista stalks you and you don't know when in the day you'll be shot. That's nice. <laughs> we're, we're talking about the experience a lot. I think we need to change the physical properties of these the coffee bean to coffee thing. I think that's what we're trying to circle here. Okay, what if the coffee is stewed in tea? Isn't that coffee? <laughs> Didn't we just go back around to creating drip coffee just now? Um, Dippin' Dots coffee? Yes. Okay, I'm liking that. I'm liking that, I'm liking that. Cat shit coffee. Coffee baked beans into bread, what? Coffee beans baked into bread? Actually, that that could be good. What if it's like like Chipotle, but a coffee? (laughs) What does that mean? (laughs) Oh! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait! Yeah, oh, yeah. so it's like Wait. all laid out, and then you could be like, I'll take some of the sugary ice cubes. Yeah. Oh, shit. I'll take decaf. I'll yeah. take I'll take half calf. I'll take cafe au lait. But those are all still coffee. I don't know. I... Oh, that's different. So is this olive oil. Like, all the other examples <laughs> of changing coffee were just coffee. And so that's coffee true. I guess if it's stuff. just adding olive oil, let's just fucking add, you know, turnip <laughs> or whatever. Like, what's to say we can't just put a random thing in there? I like the Chipotle idea. I like, idea. Chipotle. I I like, like the, Chipotle the Chipotle idea. idea. I, I, I could get behind that. It is kind of just a coffee shop put in front of you, it's which like I guess that's what Chipotle... Kind of. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 4D coffee. Gold okay, Brewstone, yeah. more like. Yeah, yeah. More like. Bro, there you go. For coffee. Who yeah. are these people? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wait a minute. Help. We <laughs> talking about coffee and got excited. Help. <laughs> Is that guy stuck? This guy needs a doctor! This guy's stuck in the wall. Okay, can can my secretary wrangle everybody in here other than her boyfriend and get them all out? (laughs) The wall guy came up with the Chipotle idea. All right, I'm glad. I think I like this Chipotle idea. Jessica, are you you satiated here? I think I'm gonna gonna try this Chipotle idea. Okay, do you feel less kind of like you don't have control over your life and stuff? I feel pretty inspired here. Okay. I'm, I'm feeling glad. pretty. Let's da- watch I'm pretty, that table. I'm, feel, I'm feeling pretty damn good. Good. I'm glad. I like this Chipotle idea. All right, let's do it. Um, Great. That'll be three hundred dollars. I have. I have that. Perfect. You can pay my secretary. And doctor, out. you know, if you're looking for a a, a well-bred and healthy horse, please contact my family. I'm a little reticent to <laughs> engage with your horse business because you said you have to immediately kill them if they get any illness. Well, that's true across the board. I. I feel like there's, okay, let me ask you a question. What if it's sick, like as a cold? Well, you can try and treat it, but. Okay, now I'm interested. Now I'm, I'll am i let you know if I need a horse for Okay, please, don't go to anyone else. Okay, in Montana? Or uh, elsewhere around the world. Okay, you got it. Thanks for coming in, Jessica. I'd love to shake your hand, doctor. I won't look at you. Okay, that works for me. How do you like that grip, that's huh? A, that's a cowboy grip if I've ever felt it. I get a lot of compliments on that grit. It's a good one. All right. Let me know when you open up this place. I'd love to come get a... Uh... 
All right, well, I, I got just a regular coffee. I got to find some. In, I'm going to go find some investors. Okay. Good luck with that. Thank you. I'm always glad to help. I'm going to say we're two for two. Um, okay, I'm ready for the next guy. Come on in. You again, huh? Yeah, how you been, dude? Not great. Uh, yeah, you want to talk about it? Let me pull up your file. What's your, what's your name? Just give me your, your full name again. Uh, Jason Tosh. Jason Tosh. I know I've asked you this before. Any relation to Daniel Tosh? Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay, hold on. A little confused about how to do this. I haven't slept in a little bit. A little bit. All right, we'll sit in the chair. Okay, so I've already put a couple things there. Put them on the floor. Okay. Okay. Put them all down, and then you sit in the chair. Okay. Uh, so you haven't slept in a while? About nine days. Nine days. <laughs> and I think that's the last time I saw you. Yeah. Um, what's been going on in those nine days, buddy? Well, big problems, because you told me to find a hobby. Hey, please don't look at me when we're doing this. I'm session. trying not to. We've talked about this. I'm trying not to. Okay, I'm just going to... There you go. I told you to find a hobby. You, you had told me much... to find a, so a little bit of passion in my life. You had too much free time and nothing, you know, that was really... And now I'm fucking drowning in it. So now you and have I'm too much passion. I'm confused a little bit about how to spend my time. Okay, that can happen sometimes. Sometimes when we open up our hearts to things, we get overwhelmed by how much is there. And I got a couple new jobs as well, and nothing's paying off in any in any way. Speak on that. What jobs what? are you? Speak on that. What jobs are you doing? What's not? What? Why aren't they paying off? I'm an entertainer now. Okay, that's very vague. Jason. I'm an entertainer, and I'm managing several properties as well and nothing is paying off in any way spiritually physically monetarily oh well, i was going to say financially okay. is that the same yes financially monetarily okay. what's that mean and just, are you making any money off of it no okay that's I'm, what i needed to know i'm interning all <laughs> around town and nothing is paying off okay, i so haven't learned anything I'm not feeling good at all. I'm not making any money. Is that what that means? Yes. Monetarily? Yes, yes. I'm hung up on that word. Another thing I've been doing is spelling bees. Okay. So all I've got going right now behind the eyes mm -hmm. is how to get that one out. Is how to get that one out? Is how to get that one out monetarily. How to get that one out on stage with the other guys. What? <laughs> <laughs> I lost you there. I lost you there. I said I'm doing spelling bees. So, oh. so since you said that, I've been trying to figure out how to get that one out on stage with the other guys. Okay. Let me just try to recap what I just heard. <laughs> you are an entertainer, you have a lot of properties, but you're interning all over town and you're doing a lot of spelling bees. Is that right? Yeah, on top of all the other stuff I brought in here. Then yes, this, was to guitar, show, this was to show you as a proof. Headphones and a clipboard. What did you call this? A guitar? Nice. Because <laughs> that's a weird one to spell. No, it's not. That's At, a pretty rude Try to spell word. it, because the first time I tried, I said G-I-T-A-R. You're so close. It's G-I, it's G-U-I-T-A-R. Well, that's what I've learned in my sleepless nights. Okay. Let's slow down. Let's the main, slow down. The main problem is nobody's, nobody can, will, is picking up their phones when I call them, too. When are you calling? Are you calling in the middle of the night? No. <laughs> okay. Who are you calling? Uh, let's check the call log. <laughs> Right, my secretary sneezing. Sorry, Doc. It's okay. It's a natural thing. I called Alicia. Who's Alicia? I called Jason. Who are, who are these? You're I Jason. Harrison. I called Daniel. I called Philip. I called Marley. I called Julie. I called Julie about nine times. I called Winston. I called Craig. I called Marley again. Okay. I call it Katarina. Doctor, we have a prescription. All right. What do we got? Stop using words with the letter E. I feel like we're, he's got so much going on already. <laughs> but maybe we can try this. Maybe this will help you in terms of you seem to have words on the mind right now. You're frantically trying to spell them. 
Let's try to have you stop using words with the letter E to see if that can kind of satiate you a little bit. And I'd like to get a little more Sir. in depth about all Sir. this. Sir. <laughs> yeah. Hard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It is. Hard. Do your best. Do your best. Okay. I want to get into this because you're you're going a mile a minute. I think call you're... Monty. <laughs> Monty. Call Larry. Larry. Can I stop you? I don't want you to just keep listing people you tried to call. Can I stop you? Most guys and girls with bad uh huh thing. Okay, I want to hear more about that, but I have to slow down here. I have to get into this. You're an entertainer. I don't know what exactly you do as an entertainer. This is my job. Market segment report. For job. Are you doing real realty? <laughs> so what is this? So there's a bunch of numbers. You can use E to tell me what you do for work. I man I manage the Ace Hotel. Okay. <laughs> Are you familiar with that property? I am. That's how is that? You should be making money from that. Why yeah. aren't you making money from that? It's an unpaid internship. Okay. <laughs> It's an unpaid internship as the manager of the hotel? Well, I started as an unpaid intern and they just shot me right up. Okay, so so you, you have money coming. No, they said they said as long as I'm getting something out of it, that I'm good there. Okay, that's wage theft. So they can't do that. I told you told me to get as much going on in my life as possible. Yes, but you took it too far. You have too many things. You need to slow down. All these people, Alicia, Jason, Harrison, Daniel, Philip, Julie, Marley, Mostly strangers. Winston, Craig. I was what I was going to ask. Do you know any of these people or are you just trying to call a bunch of random people? No, I'm doing random numbers in my downtime. Okay, stop doing that. We need to we need to find the Some middle of the phone ground. calls have, have given me more things to take care of and passions and different projects. Okay. Couple things. Let's lose those E's again. And then <laughs> let's lose those E's again because it calmed you down immensely. And then, not good. Yeah, <laughs> not good for you. Yes, I know. And then we're gonna try to to keep some things and lose some things, and we're gonna find a balance. Okay. Most of all, trying to find Katy Perry movie. Perry has ease, and movie has ease. Are you gonna kick me out? No. <laughs> no. If you have three hundred dollars, no, I'm not going to. Listen. That's most of all. <laughs> What's most of all? Trying to find... $300? Katie... Uh, oh, Katy Perry. Katie You're trying to Katie find Katy Perry? Movi, movi, Katy pre movie, movie, Katy pre movie. Film. Film. <laughs> Katy film. Try, most of all, trying to find Katy film. <laughs> Informational. <laughs> Katy film. A documentary film. about Katy Perry? Most of all. And that's your biggest... <laughs> that's your biggest... Quest right now? Most of all. Okay. Jason, slow down. Don't matter. Don't matter. Basketball <laughs> means nothing to you. Basketball's out. We're getting rid of basketball. No more basketball. Okay? Don't look at me, please. Um, get rid of the basketball. It means nothing to you now. Do you like guitar? Is it bringing you any joy? Jason, did I lose you? Huh? Do you like guitar? Is it bringing you any joy? No. Get rid of guitar. Guitar's out. How? Put it away. Throw it out. Give it to me. Away? Give it to me. Cost a lot. How much does it cost? Can't say. Because it has an E in it? Uh-huh. <laughs> I'll, I'll give you an exception for this one. How much does it cost? Hundred. One hundred dollars? No. How many hundred? Eight hundred dollars. Okay. So that's almost three sessions worth. You're saying if I put this down in your office, I get three next sessions free? You get two and two thirds sessions. Something's wrong. No, <laughs> nothing's wrong. Those all have easy. Something's wrong. I have not slept and I'd like to. Well, I can write you a prescription for that, but I want to get the good and the bad. I want to, I want to even you out here. Look what I got. <laughs> Headphones. What are those for? Fun. 
And do you, or do you have fun with them? Then they stay. Music good. Music's good. Katy. Katy Perry songs. I get to listen to those. They're Katie good. Katy songs. Um, Fourth of July. What a, is that a song? It's the document. Kind of. It's the documentary. It's Fourth an album. of July. Album. What is on Fourth of July? Independence Day. What shoots on Fourth of July? Fireworks. Ah. <laughs> yep. Yep. Katie song. Fourth of July. Most days. Most nights. Okay. I would. Here's what I'm gonna say. Keep them the days. Go to sleep at night. We're gonna change that. Very hard. It, we're, I'm gonna. I'm gonna help you. Okay. The spelling bees. Are those bringing you joy? A lot. Okay. That was good to stay. Joy. Hard work, determination, satisfaction. Excitement, satisfaction. I'm good with the ease now. I snuck a couple by you. And I'm I, fucking I, good I, with the ease now. No, I caught them, but I kind of let them go. Whoa. The spelling bees are are giving me just mostly a community. Okay. Of then a ton them. of great guys. Keep them. Some of the smartest guys I've ever met. I didn't know how to put most of these words together, and these guys are basically alchemists. <laughs> okay. Spelling bees stay. Music stays. Guitar goes. Basketball goes. What? Why are you? Why the phone? What's the phone? You can use ease. What's the phone? Most of the time, I need to talk. Oh, yes. So calling Alicia, Jason, Harrison, Daniel, Philip, Julie, Marley, Winston, Craig, Katerina, Monty, and Larry. Any of those I called people? Marley twice. Uh, yeah, okay. Any of them do you like? Marley. Okay, Marley stays. The rest go. Does Marley like you, I should say? Does he answer when you call him? It's a she. Does she answer when you call her? Yes. She picks up when we talk for a long time. Okay, Marley stays. She works at the hotel. That's what I'm getting to next, but Marley stays. And she, she's also, she. Uh, we do our entertainment act together. Well, okay, I thought it was guitar. What's your entertainment act? I'm not good at the guitar. So what's your entertainment act? Mostly magic. Okay. <laughs> do you enjoy doing magic with Marley? It's so fucking hard. To, so no, you don't enjoy it. Well, just because something's hard, I have to stop, doctor? No, but that's, I didn't ask you, is it easy or hard? I said, do you enjoy it? I mean, I don't think, like, I'm still depressed with all this stuff. Because you're overwhelming yourself. So we're culling out the bad stuff and we're keeping the good stuff. Would you consider this a net positive Other in your life? Other people do this stuff for money? That, I'm getting to that. Would you consider this a net positive in your life or a net negative? I think I'm taking on your job as a passion. What do you mean? Huh? My job is to make you normal. You're not doing shit for that. I'm figuring me out faster than you ever could. My brain is moving at the speed of light. You don't know shit about yourself right now. <laughs> My you brain is moving. I just guitar, figured it all out. Know what the fuck was going on? I didn't know there were guys making money doing the stuff that I've been doing for free. That's my next point. You need to stop interning for free as the manager of the Ace Hotel. You need to get them to pay you. Huh? You need to get the Ace Hotel to pay you for your time. Okay, okay, help me figure this out. Let's let's send a text message. Okay. <laughs> I need actionable steps, because last time you said maybe pick up a hobby, and I basically fucked myself to death. I realize I need to be extremely rigid with you. So go! Don't text them. That's not how you handle it. Get them on the phone. Don't text Stop them. it, what? stop it. Stop sending that text. Delete all those things. Call your, your boss at the Ace Hotel. What's their name? Marley. No way. Marley is your friend you do magic with and your boss? Yeah, she's in charge of the whole place. Okay. Let me... Um, what's the guy? Went to voicemail. It said she's dead. Call, no, the voicemail said she's dead. It said, hi, this is Marley. I passed away on June 9th. Call back. <laughs> Call back. They're you think trying. I heard something wrong? I think, I think they're trying to avoid you. I think they're trying to hide because they owe you back money. Back money? Yes, they owe you money. You did services for them. They're supposed to pay you for those services. Are you a good manager at the Ace Hotel? I'm extremely good. Every I believe employee you. is happy with how much stuff I take on for them. Oh, God. I'll try Marley again. Okay. 
ringing. Hello? Marley! Oh, you figured out, you figured out my trick. <laughs> Marley, we need to put that trick in the show. It was so... Stop. It, what? Say, this is Jason Tosh, and I have something important to talk to you about. This is Jason Tosh, and I have something important for you to talk about. Okay, I'm looking so much forward to our show. That's a great idea. Of it would be so great if the audience for one moment thinks you passed away on June 9th. Stop it. Stop Thank you it. so much for loving my trick. I'm looking so forward to our show. Say, I need to talk to you about work. Okay, Marley. I have to go. Marley, Marley. No, no, okay, no, Marley. Important. Marley, yes? say, I need to talk to you about work. Damn it. I need to talk to you about work. Is this a new what trick is it, for the Marley? show? You're doing such a great job, and we need you for about 25 extra hours. I'm like, doing great. I need to be paid for my services. I'm doing great at I, the job. Tell him I need to be paid for my services. My doctor needs to be paid no. in full because he's no longer taking the guitar. Well, as you know, your doctor should take up any kind of health insurance uh, qualms or arguments with the U.S. government. Beautiful. I've told you this. Okay. Give me the phone. I'm going to give my doctor the phone, Marley. And I have forgotten Marley. your name. I have forgotten your name. Jason Todd. How did you forget my name? Hold on, hold on. So this is hurting my feelings now. And that's what you should help with. Give me the phone. Hold on, Marley. My doctor wants to help you. Oh, well, okay. Hey, Marley. Hi, nice to meet you. This is Jason Tosh's uh, therapist. Oh, that's so wonderful. Therapy is so good. I see so many things online about therapy. I know, I read those. That's where I learned to do my job. Listen, I understand that that Jason's been working for free as an intern managing the Ace Hotel? Yes, we've been providing Jason with a unforgettable and unique rare Three opportunity. And, Three years. And uh, he that loves nine it. Days. Okay, he <laughs> cannot work for free because he has to pay his bills, he needs to eat, he needs a place to sleep, and those cost money. And he is generating a lot of uh, money for your company. So he needs to be compensated appropriately. That, tell, her, tell her that my lips taste very bad. No. <laughs> that is so funny that you say that because we are about to open a new wing of the hotel with 400 more rooms. And currently we don't have any money right now because we're spending it on building the new rooms. And once that new wing of the hotel is open in about three to seven weeks, I'll probably be able to talk to, to Jason Tosh, you know, about maybe an extra shift meal. Marley, can, take, can I ask you a question? He can take a to-go box home, yes. In these seven weeks, are you being paid? Well, uh, yes. Okay. I, but the money just exchanges my hands, and it leaves me because I use that money to trade it for other goods and services. Well, that's what, that's <laughs> what Jason needs. I don't really have it for very long. Jason won't have it for very long either. He'll give it to me. He'll give it to his grocer. He'll give it to... Here's the thing. Marley, if you have enough money to pay yourself, you should have enough money to pay Jason. Jason works hard for you. I understand that he does everyone's money. job. I have enough money. No, you don't. From the I, lawsuit. I heard that. I heard that. What lawsuit? <laughs> the wrestling guy. What? <laughs> Can I put you on hold, Marley? That's wonderful. What <laughs> wrestling lawsuit? Why didn't you tell me about that? Guy pulled me up at a wrestling show. And beat the shit out of you? I don't and molested me. <laughs> And you sued him in court for that? Who represented you? The guy on the the guy on TV. <laughs> there was a there was a commercial for that. Yeah. <laughs> but I've got a, a plenty of money. Okay. Do you like working at the Ace Hotel? Yeah, I get to work with Marley, and things are going great. Marley, I guess never mind. <laughs> okay, it's okay. I have a lot to do, so. So this has been good. Okay, let me I, talk to her. Okay, I'm gonna put I'm gonna put Jason back on. I just want to say he really enjoys doing his magic act with you, and I think he has a lot of fun and considers you a good friend. That's so good. Okay. Hello, Marley. Hi, hi. How are you? You really have to get your notebook out and write down the tricks we were talking about. Okay. You really should write them down because my memory's gone to shit since the spelling bees. There was so, one where they make the, they make you. They, you guys make them think she died on June, June 7th. Not, not, June 9th. June 9th. June 9th. Right. I'll remember that. And that is, that is such a good moment to, to bring into their minds, you know, a, a summer day like that. Right, exactly. I we was thinking be, that. We need to be creating more of an experience for them because so far all we're doing is the ropes and then the rings and mm -hmm. we alternate those for about an hour. What are the ropes and right. the rings? Well, the ropes... Hold on, Marley. Stay okay. on the line. So the ropes are where you have two short pieces of rope and then you smush them in your hands and then all of a sudden the rope is very long one piece. 
Oh, okay. That's clever. So, Marley, how have you been? I've been really good. Okay, I think we've solved it with Marley. Mm -hmm. Get this one, Marley. Oh, yeah, yeah. Monetarily. <laughs> monetarily. M O N. Monetarily. That's M where I stopped too. Yeah. T. M O N T. -E. You want to say, yeah. M O N T E. Monetarily. <laughs> I think my doctor's disabled. M-O-N-E-T. M-O-N-E-T. M-O-N-I-T. M-O-N-E-T phone home, bitch. No, no, no. Don't get sassy with me, Jason. I'm trying to help you best I can. Well, I've, I've been catching some Z's over here. I'm glad. I'm glad. One second. Monetary. Marley, do you find me attractive? Jason, I think that is not a good conversation for us to have. I'm at my doctor's. I can say anything. <laughs> M-O-N-E-T-A-R-I-L-Y. He's spelling monetarily. But apparently that's not a word. Oh, no, it is a word. But monetary is the one we're supposed to be using. Anyway, you should hang up. You just, you just changed the dynamic of your relationship with Marley in a way that I think they were uncomfortable with. Marley, are you uncomfortable? Well, I'm uncomfortable. With, I'm uncomfortable because I love you so much. Oh, who could have seen that coming? I love Did you. you so, this doctor? I love you so much, but I we think... have a lot of work to do, so that's mm. why I'm scared. What a predicament! Should we maybe watch TV together? Okay, Marley, that sounds very nice. I feel like Marley's taking advantage of you. Uh, I'd love to watch TV together. Marley, you don't mind that I've put on a lot of weight recently? No, I I don't mind that at all. That's that's completely fine. Wonderful. Okay. Goodbye. <laughs> Alright. I'm glad I could help you. I'm glad I could help you. Um I think we were having some connectivity issues there. Marley is maybe taking advantage of Jason, but it seems to be fine. Um Jason? What did they miss? They mostly just missed Marley saying that they love you. Um, I think we're going to just call that a win for you. I did have one more thing I wanted to ask you about. Do you want to talk about being molested at all? Is there anything you need to work no, on? No, if anything, if anything, I'd like you to tell me where to find the Katy Perry documentary. Because I've been looking since it came out and I haven't seen a showtime or a service or anything. But her music rocks my world in a way that you will never understand, brother. It's on YouTube for four dollars. It's on YouTube. I ain't got that. You do. You have a lot of money. I have four dollars. I ain't got YouTube. You don't. You, you don't need to have YouTube. Do you have a computer? Yeah. So go to your computer. Pay four dollars to YouTube. Easier said than done. <laughs> what program is YouTube going under? Safari, Firefox. Don't have either of those. Chrome. Nope. I've got calculator and email. <laughs> That's all. Have let me Marley, have it. Look. Have you know what Marley said? She wanted to watch something with you. I used to have so many good programs. You okay? You, you Marley lost. deleted all of my programs. I don't like Marley's relationship with you. The more I hear about it, she deleted all of my programs, and she said all you can have is calculator and email. Seems like she really just wants you to be unpaid labor. And I'm getting the I'm getting labor down and profits up. <laughs> right. That's why I think, and that's why I was trying to argue that- You're getting taken advantage of there. That's why I was trying to argue, but then you cut me off and said, I got money for being molested at a wrestling match and I don't need any money. <laughs> so I wasn't able to help you anymore. I could spend all my time healing from my molestation incident. Yes. You're Instead having just... major breakthroughs right now, Jason. Well, and you are actually my abuser. No, I'm not. I'm helping you. The man at the wrestling match who pulled you up and molested you is your abuser. You've done nothing but trauma to me since I've started seeing you. That's You've not forced true. me to pick up habit after habit after habit. And you know what a habit is? It's whatever a good life ain't. Who said that? You say that as if that's, that's like a That's in the back of, of the Snoopy book I read. <laughs> Jason, at my other doctor's house. Jason, I have one more question for you. What is your relationship with Daniel Tosh? You're gonna have to pay me to find out. No, I'm not paying you. You're gonna have to pay me to find out because I've been coming here for about six, seven days now. 
<laughs> over the course of a few months, yes. So that's what? One times 300 is 300. Yes. Two times 300 is 600. 600. Three times 300 is 900. 900. 1200, Four times 300. 1800. What are, you, what are you jumping around for? <laughs> I, you want to go that slowly? I don't have my calculator. Okay. <laughs> One times 300 is 300. <laughs> Two times 300 is 600. Three times 300 is 900. And that's where you cut me off. So hold on. Four times 300 is 1200. Five times 300 is 1500. Six times 300, and this this is where it gets tricky. 1800. What's that? 1800. Are you jumping around on no, me? Or did no, no. Did you do the equation? Six, six times 300. Six times 300 is 1800. He's looking at you, doctor. It's stop doing 1800. that. 1800. So that's at least 1800 dollars that you need to pay me. No, if you want to you find out me. how Tosh is related to me. I was doing that for your benefit. I was doing that for your benefit. I was trying to get you to contact your sibling, your your relative or whatever to see if he could give you a better job so you're not under Marley's thumb. Would you be surprised if I said that he that I that I am his grandfather? Yes, I would. You look great if that's the case. He must be in his 40s. Well, you'd be surprised because it's a lie. Yeah. And I don't lie in here. <laughs> I'm glad you don't lie. I'm his friend. You're his friend? Yeah. Why do you have the same last name? I changed it. You changed because you like him so much? You wanted yeah. to have the same last name as yeah. him? Yeah. Okay. I like the way he thought, and so I thought, maybe I'll think like him. I think contact your friend, Daniel, and see if he can get you a paid job where you can escape Marley. Because I think you're in an abusive relationship with Marley, wherein they're making you work for free. Why don't I... Do you think I think like Daniel Tosh now? What do you... What? Do I think you think like Daniel Tosh? Yes. That's why I changed the name. I, no. I met him on the bus one time. Okay. <laughs> and I liked the way he thought. So then I changed the name so I could work a little closer to the way, so I could work a little closer to the way he works. If I thought you'd think like Daniel Tosh, I would assume you would be more concerned with watching videos of people hurting themselves and Sounds laughing at Sounds great to me if I could only figure out how. YouTube. We got to get you YouTube for more reasons than one now. So maybe you can get me a slip of paper I'm that says that? I'm going to prescribe you YouTube. That? I'm going to, in my professional advice, we're going to get you YouTube. And if Marley tries to take it away from you, what are we going to do? We're going to push her as hard as we can. Okay, honestly, that'll have to do. <laughs> what? That'll have to do. That will have <laughs> to do. You're going to do... Matt, no, you're not going to do magic with Marley anymore. You're going to keep doing spelling bees. You're going to listen to Katy Perry music. You're going to go to bed. Those are the three. Who are you calling? Marley. Why are you calling Marley right now? Because I'm going to tell her you just told me to push her. No, <laughs> don't tell her that. You just said to push her. You said to push her, and I said that'll have to do. You started it. Hello? Hello? Marley, you're not going to believe this. <laughs> oh, my gosh. What's happened in the last... Five minutes. Dr. Ass just came up with a great new trick for our show. Oh God, oh, oh, what is it? I'm gonna shove you mm -hmm. as hard as I can. Okay. And you turn out to be okay. Oh, oh wow. Wow, this is kind of like the new sawing in half. Exactly. There's a visual, this is, there's this a visual is, element. This is just like the new sawing in half. This is just like the new sawing in half, Doctor. <laughs> Marley. Hi, thank Do you so Dr. much. Again. I'm glad I could help you with that trick. Listen, would it be okay if Jason has YouTube? What does he need it for? He needs it to both watch a Katy Perry documentary and also videos of people hurting themselves so he can be more like his hero, Daniel Tosh. Why are you, why are you encouraging him to, why are you, why are you encouraging him to look at that hoe and all that hoe stuff she does? Why are you, controlling of him to the point where he can't look at I'm helping other him women. why are you, just like you well you're not helping actually you're t you're talking all about that hoe I'm not I wouldn't call her that she's an artist what's your what's your beef here what's your beef here Marley she, because she is making people think of sex when they see food she's okay. dressing up like a whipped cream treat like whipped cream candy and cake she's looking like a whipped cream treat these days <laughs> You're not helping Don't, yourself, do you, Jason. Do you not see how wrong that is? I I think if you wanted to talk about that in therapy, I'd be glad to help you, but I, I can't get into Katie that right Katy Perry's now. looking like a whipped cream treat. <laughs> You're not helping yourself. 
You're not helping yourself right now. What? You're not doing yourself any favors. I'm you're trying not, to get you YouTube. You're not YouTube. helping me. I'm trying to get you YouTube. I'm trying very hard to get you YouTube. People are flocking to the ice cream parlors. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> Looking for boobs and stuff? Is yeah, they don't even know why. They don't even know why. They watch that hoe stuff. Let me try that again. Oh, Jesus, it's fucking windy out there. Will you stop looking outside? Don't worry about that. Don't worry about outside. He doesn't. Marley, Katy you Perry's don't... looking like a whipped cream treat these days. <laughs> Marley, you do not control Jason. If he wants to watch YouTube, he should be allowed to watch YouTube. Well, he better figure out how to download it himself. And, Doctor, mm -hmm. that's not happening. What if I write him a prescription for it? I don't think those work. Well, we'll see about that. I'm gonna go, Marley. I have a, I have very mixed feelings towards you. Well, at that. you just need to get to know me a little better. How about a free room at the Ace Hotel? No, because uh, where's the money that goes to? I guess he doesn't need it. I can get you a free room thing. any day of the week. Okay, I will maybe take you up. I can get you a free Saturday night things. right after the magic show. Come I will, see how we do things at the hotel. You're gonna be you you're on gonna that. be just a you're gonna invite all your friends to stay there. There's you're probably record, gonna leave your a, house. There's a record player in the room. Okay, that's cool <laughs> as hell. That's cool. Do you provide records? Sure. Whatever yeah, you a like. couple. Okay, I will take you up on that. I do want to see a great Charles Martinet record. Okay, and I'm the, sorry. And uh, just one last we thing. We put a Charles Martinet record in every room. And one last thing. Yes, a de Marley. The, a Decemberist's record as well. Okay, seems very different, but okay. One Charles Martinet record and, and one, Decemberist one Decemberist record. record. And nothing else. That's right. Okay, I'm going to take you lucky, up on that. And if the record player's in there. Okay, I'm going to take you up on that. I want to see your magic show. I wish you would let uh, Jason live his life more freely. And I think that's important for him. Am I done? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm going to go. Okay, Marley, you take care. All right. Okay, you take care. Marley, I love you. I love you. I love you. I'm so skeptical of that. Keep it. No. What do you? This is your cell phone, man. How much money did Keep you that? Stop. How much money did you get from that the wrestling thing? Two point four million. <laughs> yep. Wow. <laughs> wow. Give me my guitar back. <laughs> but then you owe me. You still owe me three. I told you how I got Tosh. What do you mean you told me how you got Tosh? You asked me, I said you have to pay me, and then I told you. No, that was that was never agreed upon. That's a verbal agreement. No, it was there was no verbal agreement. I said something and then it happened. I'm gonna send I'm gonna give you your guitar, but you do have to pay me. And I'm gonna send you away with these things. Some sleeping pills, a prescription for YouTube, and no more using E. I'm really itchy. <laughs> no, try that again. No more using E? Yeah, try that again. Thank you, doctor. Okay. No, there's an E in Doc. No, no there's, there's not. not. What the fuck? <laughs> Shit. All right, you're good to go. Hello. <laughs> you're good to go. There's oh. an E in Doctor. Guitar's on the. Don't worry about any of that. That's not it. Are we just blowing through the B game? Uh, we can we can do it quick. We're not hitting the the sub goal. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> <laughs> that attitude. Who wants to give us 13 subs right now? Let's do the B game really fast. Alright, we're going to do the B game really fast, and then when we come back, I'll see another patient or two. Hey guys, it's me, Justin Christlove. 
teen heartthrob and star of Disney's Wizards and Basketball. But now, I'm your therapist! Isn't that awesome? I'm here to help you solve whatever problems are making you feel bad. So let's get 90 seconds on the clock and get those bad feelings out of here. What's going on? What's giving you guys troubles? How to deal with bullies? Well, what I do on the TV show is I like to school them on the basketball court. But if athletics isn't your thing, you could try to bring a gun to school. How did you run after hitting, uh, why did you run after hitting that guy? You know, a lot of people are asking me questions about what they call a hit and run. <laughs> what I like to say is, you know, I had somewhere to be, okay? I was late for set. And if I'm late for set, that means less episodes of uh, basketball, Wizards of Basketball, for you guys to watch. My laundry machine is broken? <laughs> Good point. Thank you. That's a great point by me, and I'm hoping that can help you guys whenever you're in a problem like that. Any other questions or any other problems that you guys are having? Throw them my way. When the shot clock is running low, and the prime, year of, uh, prime years of life... Oh wait, well, I think I feel a little silly. <laughs> hey, feeling silly, silly is, hey, feeling silly is totally fine as long as you get serious when it's time to work. Wrong color poop? This is a problem that I had for a series of months on set. I think it was because someone was trying to poison me at Crafty. My mom said that I had to stop eating so many of the, uh, what do they call them? Uh, famous Amos cookies because they were doing weird sh stuff to my shit. <laughs> Hi there, Dr. Jones, and I can solve anything, so just throw it at me. Just throw it at me, any kind of problem. What's in the pipe? Tobacco. Nothing else. Indiana. Leave. I see her every time I close my eyes. That sounds like a problem. If I were you, I'd go home, kick off my shoes, and I'd pour a Cosmopolitan, and I would watch the movie Crazy Stupid Love. <laughs> that movie is so funny. One time I rented it, and I Venmoed my friend, whose Amazon account I used, and I said, here, this is for Crazy Stupid Love, and then my sister commented, David Lindhagen. She knows what's up. How do I make the yelling stop? Well, I think you should go home, kick off your shoes, pour yourself a highball, and put on the movie with honors. <laughs> Did you like Brendan Fraser in The Whale? Well, watch with honors. He plays a Harvard student, and Joe Pesci plays a houseless man, and they kind of come together to help each other. How do I make the yelling start? Well, I would go home, take off your jacket, kick off your shoes, pour yourself a gin and tonic, and I would put on the movie Indiana Jones 3. <laughs> Sean Connery is in it. Uh, Indiana Jones and his dad have sex with the same woman, and that woman is actually in the new film RRR. Her name is Allison Duty. See if you can spot her, and 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 you'll say, "Wow, that's that." That's a beautiful Nazi from Indiana Jones 3. <laughs> My name's Gorilla Zoe, and I can help you out, no doubt. <clears throat> Give me your problems. What's the meaning of life? It's going out on the town Friday night, Saturday night, and no other nights of the week. Sunday through Thursday, have to be respectful and sleep filled. Why do I feel rage every minute of the day? That's because um, of that's because you're not exercising indoors. Have you seen any nice rule 42 lately? Yes, Pura from Zelda. <laughs> What's good, gorilla? Are we hitting the kegger later? Yes, sir. Please, I need a fat drink tonight. How do I make the yelling start? Get up, get at it, and go work out indoors. I like your music, Mr. Zoe. Thanks so much. My favorite song I've made is Echo. Gorilla Zoe, what workout supplement should I take for my depression? You should try the protein made out of peas. It's called pea protein. How do I convince myself? Lately, I've been able to, unable to sleep. Is that good? Lately, I've been unable to sleep. Is that good? Great question. How do I convince myself to get out of bed and shower every morning? Many wonder this, and only I know the truth. <laughs> I feel sexually incompetent help. 
go on the go on the internet and look up amateur and and see what they do and try it <laughs> how do I recover suppressed memories um, how do you recover them talk to the person who did it <laughs> Hello, I'm actor Bibby Toot. I'm playing uh, Geordi LaForge in the reboot of Star Trek TNG, and the good news is they fixed the character because now he's all about mental health. And so this is a product placement thing. Let me, let me kind of unpack your brain, huh? Name again, Bibby Toot. Character on the show, Geordi LaForge. Bibby Toot, yes, I do. I'm starting to sense something. I'm starting to sense uh, kind of, okay, yeah, Bibby, hmm, interesting, interesting. Yeah, my name is Bibby Toot, is there a problem? Do you, have a, do you have a problem with that? It's my stage name. <laughs> my, my real name is Bibby Flatulence. Not to address the elephant in the room, but you seem taller. <laughs> yeah, they, they got a lot of notes about that from the earlier part of the show. A lot of people sending in really angry letters about the way Jordy looked, and it was the height problem. Um, uh, who named you? Uh, my parents. And also the, uh, the legal team at, uh, at Fox. Uh, I wanted to make sure I heard right. I don't trust my ears. How do I get help with that? Uh, well, so these things help me see real good. They don't help me hear real good. So I, my advice for you would be to talk to the, the people who do props on your show and ask them if there's something that they have, like maybe from the last time they did a show with like, uh, what's the guy who's really into green stuff, green energy, he's on Young Sheldon. Somebody help me out here. Aziz, got... I'm sorry. No, <laughs> not Aziz on sorry. No, the old fucker. Rob Hubel. <laughs> yeah. Hello, I'm Dr. Hector Beans, and I'm. I am Glombo. I am here to help you. Go ahead. Ask me your questions. What is your problems? I'm here to help you. Is Glombo. Dr. Hector Beans is no longer here with us. Give us your best Fabio. Yeah, I used to think he was German, but turns out he's Italian, so I don't know much more than that. Glumpo, I have too much food. Where do I put it? I'll take it off your hands. <laughs> what are your pronouns? He, them. Glumbo, <laughs> what do you recommend I eat for a healthy heart? Chicken soup, frozen into ice cubes. Is this the guy from Total Recall? Yes, I'm the man with the three boobs. I want to go home. Too bad you're already there. Hi, Glumbo. We love you. I love me too. <laughs> Glumbo, why can't I sit normally in chairs? Well, since about the 1960s, the design of chairs has been more about aesthetics as opposed to comfort or tactility of sorts. I would recommend looking for something like a chaise lounge. How do I make it stop? Close your eyes as hard as possible. <laughs> Good evening, Glombo. My mom is refusing to take her medication. Put it in some peanut butter. that Gore Vidal is in with honors and like not as himself I was shocked to learn that well I hope that was helpful to you sure Bonnie he was in back to school not my problem if it wasn't um 
Dr. S, do you think you're a good therapist? I know I'm a good therapist. I have self-confidence and I'm self-assured. I helped that first guy be Sims. I helped that second cowboy invent a new form of coffee that's Chipotle but a coffee shop. And I think I helped that third guy in a myriad of ways. Um, do I have good benefits and am I single? I don't get any benefits because I'm self-employed and I'm afraid of intimacy, but it's normal and it's fine when it's me. It's okay. If you're so good, diagnose all of chat. Well, I can do that if you sub. If you sub, I will do that. That's kind of one of the things we have in here. And uh, if we get 13, did they sub? We had two consultations earlier. Okay. <laughs> I just got fat taken out of my butt and injected into my forehead to look like Kim K, and now the kids I teach are making fun of me. They'll adapt to it, and soon they will only think of you as the man who looks like Kim Kardashian. So just persevere, power through, and all the butt in your face will soon become normal. However, I don't recommend telling the kids that you have butt in your face, and let's watch that table, because if you do, they might call you Professor Buttface. And then Internet Crow, but I, I can't find what they're asking about. Okay. Well, if they figure it out, let me know. Um, I love it when the chairs shake. Yeah, been happening a lot today. We're going to work on that. Um, Are we? Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, shit. Boy. Brando2600, thank you so much. You can feel free to prescribe a treatment. Um, oh, Internet Crow prescribed a treatment. That's right. You can prescribe a treatment, or if you want, that can function as two subs. Feel free to say, like, that's two subs. You can do whatever you want. You're in, you're in control. If you haven't joined the Discord yet, get in the Discord, follow the show, subscribe to all the stuff. Um, and with that all being said, I think I'm ready to get our next patient in here. Come on in. Hey. Hey. Should I? Here. Okay. Don't look at me, please. Sorry. Thank you, I fight for them. Let me know what you want. What, if that's a sub or if that's a for treatment, whatever. Um, what's your name? Can I get your name? Uh, uh, my name is Prescott Monaco. Prescott? You probably... You probably recognize my name. I've kind of been in the headlines a lot recently. I sort of like why I'm here. Recognize the country of Monaco and Prescott from the Bush family. My dad is like a billionaire. Uh, he um. This is gonna be topical. He Have invented a look at this image and tell me what you see. I forgot to mention that. Thank you so much. You ever did that? What's up? We're gonna do a Rorschach test right now. Oh. So we're gonna get to know you a little bit better, Prescott. Okay. Cool. What do you see here? Um, like one of those instruments with like the PVC pipes where they slap, you know, they slap like a um, like a flip flop or something on top, and it makes that like boom, 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 boom. You know, like that <laughs> instrument. Mm -hmm. I see one of those. Okay, that's incorrect. Stupid. All right, Prescott, Stupid. what brings you into my office today? Um, so my dad like made a ton of money. He invented the app that uh, figures out the exact amount you can landlords can charge tenants without them wanting to leave. And then it uses chat GPT to write up eviction notices. That's and cool. um, he like became this huge billionaire. And um, so he. <sighs> Does your hat say Lima Ball Z? Yeah, I thought it was dope. It's my stepdad. It's my stepdad, actually, but I call him dad. I um, think I do know why I heard about you then. Yeah, so like he found this guy on Reddit named Dr. Genius who said he <laughs> he knew how to get to the lost city of Atlantis. And my dad is like- Historian. My dad is like really into like undersea exploration. And so he died in this like freak Rube Goldberg Is that accident. official by the way? It's really fucked up. Is that official? Have we? We're not sure. Yeah. We're not sure. No, it is. It's official. Yeah. They don't it know is. yet. Okay. Basically, he. So they like lit a candle that melted really far, which like triggered a hammer to fall and pop a balloon, and then a soda can rolled down a big piece of wood. Is that this launched underwater. 
No, it starts. It takes like an hour and a half above water before it launches the ship into the water. And I guess something went wrong. Like once it was in the water, um, and like. I'm really fucked up about it, and I was at a Blue Man Group concert when it happened, and everyone was freaking out because I was posting pictures at Blue Man Group, which is my favorite band. Would and it's like that's Blue how Man I Group heal. Band? Yeah. I don't know if have I you seen their musical band. acts? They're awesome. And it's Blue Man Group is literally how I heal. Okay, I go to Blue Man Group every week, and I see them. And it's like, they don't even have to talk to express, but it, you see so much like behind their eyes, you know? And that really resonated with me. So I was live tweeting at Blue Man Group, like, please send thoughts and prayers. My dad died in a freak Rue Goldberg accident. And people were getting so mad at me. You replied to a thirst trap saying that, right? You replied to a picture of a woman saying, do you want to sit on my face? Yeah. Well, it's, <laughs> do you want me to sit on your face? Yeah. Is what she said. And, and I was like, yes, yeah, please, please. But that's how I body. heal. Okay. People don't understand that like everybody grieves in like different ways, you know, like for me, it's like being a reply guy to OnlyFans models and watching uh, guys group. throw marshmallows into each other's mouths from like really far away. And you're like, saying you see stuff crazy far the away when they do that. Well, like there's like this sort of like deep sadness in the eyes of the blue men that really resonates with me. We're getting a prescription for you. Cool. Uh, cool. Prescott. So let's go ahead and see what we got. Chemical X. Isn't that the thing that made the Powerpuff Girls? I take a ton of that before I go see Blue Man Group. Yeah, you must. Uh, That's MDMA, it, right? That's what no, we call it. No. Oh. It's a serum that made uh, super children. I mean, I'll do anything once. Um, Let me ask you something, Prescott. I'm in this like Twitter feud with Jeff Tiedrick. <laughs> Who's that? <laughs> Is he the guy who replies to all the Trump tweets? Yeah, like, he's I like. I got you now, buddy. Yeah, he's like. I guess he's like really. F he doesn't have shit to do now that Trump's not on Twitter anymore. So he's like getting mad at me for not grieving in the right way. Um, well, we have another prescription for you, but I do want to ask you a question. Four loco. You want a four loco? Yeah, I'll slam one. You have one right now. Not on me, but I'll. I'll if get you could one. pour one into like a solo cup, I'll chug that Can shit. Can we pour my? Uh, my right away, doctor. It's my warhead. It's like the warhead and the, the shakiest chairs again. There we go. It's like the warhead for Loco. I have a few in the fridge. Um, I really wanted to ask you a question, Prescott. You have this is just like so unfair because people are getting mad at me. Hey, Prescott. Like it's my fault. Don't look at me, but let's let's have these together. All hey, right. Cheers, buddy. Clang clang. I want to ask you a question. <laughs> do people, do people, do you feel that people have no empathy for you because you come from generational wealth and get to do whatever you want pretty much whenever you want? And so people are actually kind of reveling in your suffering, even though you, from what I can tell, you're just a kid. Like, I don't know why anyone would be jealous of me. My life is hard as shit. People well, don't realize that when you're the son of a billionaire, there's like mad stuff that you have to like worry about, mm, you know, like you're losing me fake clout sharks. You just want to get tickets to blue man group. And this clout shit is funny. You, this clout look, shit is not, crazy. I'm, fake New York bitches. It's fake New York. I'm right there with you. This clout shit is funny. Real people are really hard to come by in what we do. I know that. I Amen. know Amen. Amen, brother. Um, do we have a <laughs> prescription? <laughs> Literal clout sharks, Literal yeah. Do we sharks. have a prescription? Yeah. Uh, one, oh, <laughs> I, oi. I'm hesitant to give you this one. What is it? A submarine ride, a calming submarine <laughs> ride. But we'll get you a regulation one, not one that's be cool. run with a GameCube controller, and I think that's gonna make a big difference. What I was trying to get at before you started talking about how your extremely easy life is hard, <laughs> is it's got to be tough it is that people don't have any empathy for you when you're just another human being going about your life that's what i'm saying it's All like right. i you know fucking say words to me i hurt cut me i bleed yeah adrenochrome oh god it's like <sighs> where's killing me you're where are the people me. who like you know actually care about struggles these days you know all i get is hate mostly from Jeff Tiedrick, but like all kinds of people. Well, here's a here's a thought. I'm not a big believer in karma or any of that shit. That's all fucking stupid. But word, have you thought about paying it forward, and maybe it'll come back to you? 
you have a lot of money, you have a lot of resources, you have a lot of influence. That's have you so thought true. about offering that power to help other people? Mm, no. <laughs> I haven't thought about that. Why don't you consider it? And if you... Well, I guess if I were to give other people my Hold money, on. I would have less money to buy tickets to Blue Man Group. Right, but some people don't have food and stuff. Right, but... So? Okay. In that case, I'll just remind you, I charge 1800 an hour for my sessions. You are aware of that, right? Yeah, that's like two Blue Man Group tickets. Yeah. Okay. The kind that I get. I get box seats. Okay. There's a sick buffet. It's all blue food, which is really cool. And you would think, like, how many blue foods are there? But there's actually a hella. Blueberries? There's blueberries. There's blue. There's like a lot of blueberry foods with blueberries in them. Are and there then there's foods just dyed blue. Blue raspberry candy. Yeah, exactly. It'll be like a blue like muffin or like a blue. You know, like we dyed. The, it's like a smoothie and it's got. It's you blue. know what's interesting? A thought I had in the car the other day. Love blue raspberry, but don't like raspberry. Damn. That's, that's not pretty. To that's you. pretty deep. It's just a real thought I had in the car the other day. Oh, deep. Oh, I can't. I don't even want to think oh, about yeah, it. Oh yeah, because your dad got blown up by the yeah, water. Deep, huh? Yeah. Your dad got exploded by well, the water. Well, I don't know how he got exploded. All I know is that it was some convoluted Rube Goldberg machine where it was like there are a lot of pieces. There was a part where uh, a, a marble like drops down through a track and it lands on something, and then there's a small candle that because of the heat of the candle, it inflates like a paper bag that rises something back up to the top of a board, and then a hammer sort of like swings and pops a balloon that like drops down a bunch of water into a sponge that soaks it up and becomes heavier. Oh, Jesus, I'm sorry, I'm getting an emergency call, and if you had an emergency, it I was actually kind of dope. You, so just know that that's fine. Just just sip on that Sour Patch for a little Oh, I chugged the shit out of oh, that. Okay. This is Dr. Ass's emergency line. Please have an emergency. Hi, this is Carl Framebird, and I'm calling on behalf of the Blue Man Group. Are you with Prescott Monaco? I am with him. Why would you get this number? <laughs> uh, the We do kind of like dip. A uh, pretty big form on the ticket purchase. Oh, so we do a pretty big form on the ticket purchase. Therapist number goes on the form for the ticket purchase. Yeah. Okay. And we're looking through sort of just sales numbers and sort of finding out sort of who we could talk to about how to improve our show and <laughs> just basically need to talk to Prescott right now. Are you there with Why him? Why didn't you call him? I've tried him many times. Okay, he's going through something right now, so I think just give him like a little privacy at the moment. I'll give him kind words at the beginning of our conversation, but it should happen now. We're okay, on, we're on will, dress rehearsals and we're out of ideas. And I, will Scott's do this. A, I will. Do Prescott's this, a huge fan. But please, I think he'll enjoy hearing from you at a time like this. So please try to make him feel better. He's going through a lot right now. We all love Prescott. I won't hurt him at all. Okay. Hey, Prescott, I have one of the Blue Men group. Hold on, I'm tweeting, hell yeah, I'm finna dive in that puss puss to a girl whose username is a picture of a strawberry. Okay. Do you What's up? Talk? One of the Blue Men group is on the phone. The Blue Man group is on the, wait a minute, they one, don't talk. One of the guys, that, well, off camera, off, when they're not on stage. Uh, yeah, the real Blue Men don't talk. All right, he, he doesn't believe. <laughs> I'm not a Blue Man. I heard what he said. I'm not a Blue Man. I'm Mark Framebird, I don't remember what I said. I am the creative director. Okay, this is the creative director of the Blue Men Group. No way. They don't come up with that shit, Prescott. I do, and I'm out of fucking ideas, and I need to talk he to you needs now. To talk to you about ideas for what to do with his wordless slaves, I guess. I don't know what they are. This is Prescott Monaco, number one Blue Man Group fan. I know who you are, Prescott, and I need you. My dad's a billionaire who died in that Rube Goldberg uh, accident. I know everything about you, Prescott. Remember, the big form. Listen. <laughs> Prescott, we're out of ideas and we need your help. What else could these guys do? You want me to do ideas for Blue Man Group? Oh Maybe my god, I've been them, thinking about this forever. Them. You've got some? Uh, yeah, only like a million. Okay, Prescott, we need you to do ideas for the Blue Man Group. Uh, Shoot. okay, um, first of all, uh, uh, okay, um, do you know, uh, have you seen all the Avengers movies? Every single fucking one of them, man. Yes, okay. Um, all right, so I was thinking, like, what if one of uh, the Blue Men, uh, like, snaps yes. and all of them disappear and, yes, like, Prescott. they all, like, float away? Yes, Prescott, yes. Or, um, uh, have you seen, um, have you seen uh, uh, Ant-Man? One of them shoved the other one really hard. Have you seen, have you seen, oh, that's good. One of them shoves the other one really, really hard, like, as hard as they can. That is 
is hilarious. It should be does like it the new like song. Does it look half. like anything happens to that person, or do they? Is it in the end? Are they okay? I don't it think it like matters. Really hurt. It looks like they're really hurt. Then they get up and they're fine. Maybe yeah. They, maybe they're like totally fine. It's like the new song in half. So that's basically a magic show. Huh? That's yeah. Well, kind of. Have you seen Ant Man? I have these two guys. I have this guy and this girl who might be perfect to collab with. <laughs> okay. Them. Keep going. Did you ask me if I them gets, what if one of them gets really small? Yes. Yes. We shrink him down tiny, and Would then another one gets really ideas? big, like Ant Man. That is that is fucking hilarious. Um. Uh. What are some other good ones? Um. Have you seen have Doctor you seen the Strange? One have you seen the one trick where we put up your name uh, next to the stage when you when the when before the show starts? Oh yeah, I've always wanted that to be me. Well, I, well. I I've pushed for it a lot, but the guy some of the guys don't care for you. But I but I was wondering, do you like that kind of thing where we display personal information yeah, before I, the show starts? Dude, put whatever you want. Put my name, my address, my fucking social security. I love being in the show. Did you your social security number when you bought tickets? Yeah, I put my social security. I don't. I just write it in in case they That's if the case they want to use it. I can give it to you right now. It's nine two three yep. four six. Eight Already four got it on the eight form. three. Okay, got cool. It on the form. Um, yeah, yeah. Put that shit up. That's Question. awesome. Have you seen uh, Doctor Strange? What if they opened up like the portals, like yes. they do in Doctor Strange, and one of them like comes through? Oh, and he throws he throws one of the marshmallows through the portal, Great and the other idea. one catches it in his mouth on the other side of the portal. Prescott, brilliant mind of Prescott Monaco. Uh, question: What's the funniest food for them to be doing stuff with? Um, I mean the marshmallows are fucking awesome, but like, what's fuck yeah, Prescott, we um, love you, dude. Okay, cool. Yeah. I love you guys too. What about like Jello? What? Jello. What's funny about Jello? It's it's shaky. Tell him to shut the fuck up, Prescott. Yeah, shut the fuck up. All right. Um, We're what if the bl what if the marshmallows were blue too though? He's never been to a fucking blue man show. Tell him that. You've never been to a fucking blue man group I went show. To one. Yeah, what happened in it? Did you get your name on the board, bitch? No, I didn't. But my brother-in-law was having a birthday there, and we all went. Yeah, I fucking bet. All right, I I was underwhelmed. So you didn't choose the activity. No, I went with my sister. I'm gonna put and you on speaker. Husband. I went with my sister and her new husband, and we went and saw the Blue Man Group, and I was underwhelmed. So you got any ideas? I gave you my ideas. Jello. I thought it's funny. Bad idea. Horrible. No, it's not. It's, it's horrible. It's, it's clean around. It's kind of no name about the Blue Man Group. Marshmallow dry. Popcorn dry. I had the idea of push the guy really hard. That was my idea. Yeah, but you didn't say that it would be just like sawing a guy in half. It's kind of like the modern Listen, what did you say your name was? Mark Framebird or something? <laughs> what do you mean or something? I don't remember what I said the first time. Well, it should be your name is what you said. Martin Framebird, I love the cut of your jib, and I want to come do a Blue Man Group, be a creative guy at the Blue Man Group with you. Look, I haven't slept in nine days. My name's Jason Tosh. Oh, I no. found this. <laughs> this I got this phone. number randomly. Get this guy up the I phone. found this number randomly. Get, you don't want that guy. <laughs> You don't want anything to do with that guy. <laughs> All right, well, Prescott, I think you're good. Okay. It's going to be 1800. I'm going to go see Blue Man Group again. Go see Blue Man Group again. If anyone's mean to you, just, uh, you know, reply to thirst traps or whatever. What makes okay. you feel good? Um, sending death threats to Jeff Tiedrich. I endorse that. Okay. <laughs> Take care, buddy. Thanks, ass man. And Secretary bill him for the four loco as well if you can. <laughs> that was seven dollars. All right, I think we have time to do one more quick one. Um, thank you to everyone who's been sticking around. I know we had some technical difficulties briefly, but everyone's been very helpful today. Um, if there's any other consultations or treatments or anything I missed, please let me know. And of course. You can uh, pull up Rorschach tests that were submitted by you on the Discord and on Twitter. So join those if you haven't yet. Um, so let's see. I guess we have we have. A, I think I have a, a, a group one happening now. A couple. Yeah. Hi. Come on in. Hi, Doctor. Hi. Hi. Do you <laughs> want a chair? Let me get you a chair. I'll stand. Okay. Are you they sure? Want to stand. Are you sure about that? I'll be standing. All right. Could you two tell me a little bit? Could I get your your names for the file here? Daryl. Daryl, I don't want to be here. That, is that your last name, Daryl? Don't look at him, remember? Oh. Thank you. And thank you, Daryl. 
For nope. Mr. I don't want to be here, you are participating. And what was your name? My name is Julie. Daryl and Julie. And what's bringing you into my office today? Well, well, I would say me and Daryl are in a situation ship and it's getting pretty serious and everything's going really, really good. Daryl, do you feel the same way about all that? She won't come with me. Come with you where? She won't come with me on the Disney cruise. <laughs> <laughs> and I've offered to pay and I've offered to get her I've offered to get her time off work as a police officer uh, security security guard yeah okay for a weed store oh that's awesome <laughs> yeah. all right I want to get to know a little bit more guess who, about guess who owns the weed store who you yeah oh that's a that's I don't really like to hear that that's the dynamic. I but could get her off. I could get her off the schedule, like Thanos. <laughs> right. So that that to me implies that that's not the issue at hand here. So we're gonna do a role play, Daryl. I want you to walk me through a conversation you have with Julie where you pitch going to the Disney cruise. He's got an ass and fucking dick and Please balls. don't acknowledge his dick and balls unless it's relevant, which I don't think it is in this situation. Where'd you get this? I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> I've I mean, never. How do I get one? I will. I do not know. I've never seen that or heard of that before. I have not either until it showed up. I don't want to get into that. Talk to the doll about Disney Cruise. It's the only thing that matters to me. It's where I get. It's where I get all my joy from. It's where I express myself. It's the only thing that matters to me. It's the only important thing I've ever had. I notice you're not framing it at all around what Julie would get out of the experience. I need you to go with me. I need you to go with me. I need you to help me get there. Would Julie ride, have a good time? I need a ride to the Disney cruise. <laughs> Do you want her to just drop you off at the Disney cruise? No, because I can't hold all the stuff. <laughs> Daryl, I want you to try this again. I want you to try this again, Daryl. And, and just so everyone knows, I'm listening. Yes. Yeah. And I want you to try this again. Well, there, there I'm out of it now because now I just remember she's here. I was doing it to her. No, 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 no. Stay in it. I want you to try it again and I want you to try to center it around what would Have Julie enjoy this about image the Disney And cruise. tell me what you see. And then as soon as you're done, we're going to do the Rorschach test. But first, I want to do this. What would Julie enjoy about this cruise? Go. I can't carry all the costume pieces I like to bring. So I need your help getting on the cruise with the bags and the boxes. What are the costume pieces he brings? Ears, um, Goofy's hat, Goofy's pants. I do every character. <laughs> you do every character. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. This and is she a... loves the pictures. Every time we go out to dinner. Can I ask... talk to the doll? You can, but before you do that, I do want you to do that. But let's get a look at this image, and you, you, you each tell me what you see in this image, okay? Oh. So close. That's reminding me of Goofy's outfit. <laughs> it is a lot, yeah. There's a lot of similarities there. So Goofy's outfit is what you see there? Yeah, that reminds me of Goofy's outfit. All right. And yeah. uh, Daryl, what are you seeing there? Well, now that she said that, it's hard for me to unsee it. But to me, that looks like Mommy. It looks like Mommy. Okay. Both of those are wrong. That's, what is correct there? That's Stewie Lois Peter. What? That's a Stewie Lois Peter. Hmm. And we made it to the last 10 minutes of the episode, but we did get a family guy in there. Fuck. When it was all said and done, we couldn't help ourselves. I have something to say to the doll. To the doll. And so this is you talking to Daryl. Or this is you talking to, to Julie. I'm talking to Daryl. Okay. Go I'd like you to tell me a little bit more about your mother. We're going to get to that. First you do that. Daryl, as we drive around in your car around the city, Every time we see a billboard for The Diplomat, you say, I want to watch The Diplomat. We got to watch The Diplomat. We have to start watching The Diplomat right away. And if I go on that cruise, I have no interest in The Diplomat. I don't understand what that show's about. It's a woman who looks concerned. If I go on that cruise with you, you're going to make us watch The Diplomat in the room. And I... I I need to be able to get away. And when I'm on a boat, I can't get away. Mm. I don't understand why you want to watch The Diplomat. I don't understand what that show's about. And I don't want to watch it either. And now this is actually a good segue. Both of you tell me a little bit about your mothers. Horse face bitch. <laughs> <laughs> and that's enough. And
everybody. We're the Everything Now Show. We do this show four nights a week, so come on back Saturday. Oh, we're all down here. Monday, Tuesday, Thursday at 7, and Saturday at 6. So come on back. Follow us on all of these things. Particularly, please subscribe to the to the YouTube. That we're one's, so close. We're getting really we're getting close better. to a thousand we're getting folks. There. It's happening. It's you gonna happen. Get uh, and join the Discord. All the Rorschach tests you saw, the Stewie Lois Peter, that all came from you in the Discord. So get and in there. Twitter and now and a little Twitter bit. somewhat. But as well. really join the Discord anyway. Um, that is all that part of it. Thank you so much for watching, and thank you to our two great guests we had. Let's bring them out. It's Kate and Danny. Kate and Danny. It's Kate and Danny. Wow, wow. Thanks for having us, Everything Now. We appreciate it so much. It's a beautiful day in New York City, and I love you. You remember that so from true. last time Danny was on? It's so true. So that's what I remember. That's and what happened. Last time, some of those going in the chat. last time Danny was on, I had just gotten all four wisdom teeth removed. True. And I'll have the chat know that I was conscious for the whole thing, and the nitrous did almost nothing to calm oh. me. Oh. And I'll have the chat know Ooh. that Kate, the day before, went, I'm getting all my wisdom teeth removed, but that shouldn't be an issue. I will still be at the show that night. And I went, I'm not so sure, Kate, but okay. And then she messaged me the day of and went, I'm in excruciating pain and bleeding a lot. The damn shame. Yeah, um, and, and plasma was coming out of my mouth, and I tried to watch the house bunny, and I had to pause it a lot. And I took her to Whole Foods, and she was, and she said, I want to go in the store. And then <laughs> we oh, went in the okay. store, and she, her mouth was open with blood and drool coming out of it. <laughs> uh, not, not that out of place for the Whole Foods yeah, in Silver Lake. Right. Yeah. The Silver Lake Whole Foods. What day, what, what day was your thing? That was... Uh, it was like almost, it was like two months ago. March 27th. Wanna, Mar April 27th. April 27th? I think. Sounds Well... Shit. I have a great picture nah, of Kate drooling blood. Maybe it'll be in the Discord. One day. Yeah, we'll post it in the Discord. Yeah. We'll it'll be in the sub only channel in the yes, Discord. Subscribe. Subscribe to the yes. show to the see subscribers it. will get to see Oh, the we photo. got them. Never mind, you're getting it for free. Oh, you can't see sh No, it's shit. refocusing. It'll refocus. There it is. No. Oh. Okay. Well. So worth it. <laughs> uh, and what what plugs do you have to do, uh, Danny? Any, anything to plug? Uh, co coming up in New York City, not now New York City, New York City. We're doing a game show called Don't Break, Don't break. on Don't July break. 11th with David Brown, with a David Brown, NS, uh, guest. Me and David Brown host the show. Kate's going to be in New York with us, refing that show. Hell yeah! Um, and then we're doing it again in Los Angeles on July 21st at the Elysian oh. Theater. So, so people in New York, and we know there are some of you. Go, go check to the and show. Then, Speaking of the Elysian Theater. And then on July 30th, me, Danny, and David are doing Haters Club at Permanent Records Roadhouse, oh. which is basically a stand-up showcase where we, we write an original song at the top. And speaking of the Elysian Theater, if you're in the Los Angeles area, come to my open mic on Wednesday nights at 8.30. Chris is there. I'm and there, but do not talk to me. He's working. Don't bother him. I used He's to working. say... Don't worry about what I used to say. No, the go ahead. Thing is, don't watch the bots. The important out. thing is, I will be there. Don't talk to me. I'm, I'm busy at work. But check it out. I, yeah. I it's a it. very, very fun and great open mic. Incredibly warm vibe. Danny's often there doing doing bits. Sure. It's one of the open mics that doesn't make you want to kill yourself. Yes, yeah. that, that is true. That is true. That's That's true. The only yeah. One. yeah. Yes. So you gotta go. check it out if you're in town. If you wanted to get up at an open mic, there's no better place to do it than at Funny Games. So true. Well, there you go. And That's don't it. break That's rules. It. Enough said. Enough said. That's a live show. Enough said. We're doing the show again on Saturday, and it's figure drawing. Figure drawing with one Steve Yurko. Steve Yurko. Figure drawing Saturday. Break out those pens and pencils and Microsoft Paint and Photoshop, folks. You gotta come. We're doing art. You got to cart on Saturday, everybody. All right, let's raid someone. Is Luke Man still on? We're going to raid someone. Luke 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 Thanks for Taylor. having us, Everything Now. Thank of you course. for coming on. Thank you so much for being here. Well, another show. Luke, nah, so we don't need a raid. He's doing Who, fun. Does he need our numbers? Is there oh, and we like should a... mention, if, you, if you're watching the bear, keep an eye out. Oh, yeah. A one, a one Mr. Danny might be in the, the brief moment of the bear. Might just spot a Danny Catlow. 
Some they like it when they see people from here on the TV. It's true. It excites them. Everything now shows the hot new incubator yeah. for yeah. TV's hottest star. If you haven't seen Black Mirror season six, Cameron Farmer's in there also. Let's read Mayor Words because he's going to be coming on sometime so true. soon. Potentially. If you haven't seen Jury Duty yet, one David Brown is a large majority of the show. Say hi to Mayor Words for us. Say, say everything now Dwight show is very us. excited to have you on and, and you show him some love. Everything now show yet. You might see some of your favorite folks from on Jury that Duty show. and Black Mirror yeah. and The Bear. You might see some of your favorite Everything Now cast members on a certain Twitch stream. That's every Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. I'm gonna write now. All right, bye bye. bye. See ya. Doesn't it take ten seconds? Yeah. Oh well. So. No, no. It is. Ten seconds. Uh, did you hit stream and record? No, I am. Okay. Cool. So they're gonna no, see no. this. Yeah. They're gonna see this part so also. You can hear how stupid you sound. Yes. Actually, fair. Fair enough. You had any other stupid shit to say before? You Are you done? Turn no. it off. Okay. <laughs> well, great. Now that YouTube's gonna see how 